More local coverage now. National Low Income Housing Coalition has released a new report on the affordability of rental housing. Joining us with more is the Executive Director for the Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless, Jim Rizek. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. Tell me all about this uh, new report, this program, and what is exactly going on here. Sure. Well, this is a national report that's put out every year by the National Low Income Housing Coalition. And to be clear, there's nowhere in the country that's affordable for the very low income right. earners in our, in our country. But Rhode Island is ranks 19th and one is the worst. So we're up in the upper tier. And that's for a variety of issues. One is we have a higher percentage of renters in this state than the national average. We have 40% who rent as opposed to 36% nationally. Okay. We also have very, very low um, vacancy rates, over 4%, and the national average is over 7%. So with high demand and less uh, available, right. people find, a, find it really, really hard to find a place, number one, but especially low-income people find it hard to find a place that's affordable for them. Okay, so what are some options for them right sure. now? Sure. Um, well, our community development corporations across the state, they're nonprofits that build low-income housing or rehab it, and so they are looking to do all sorts of projects to make these units available to people. Um, unfortunately, they obviously need funding to do that, right. and so we get a lot from the national government, um, and we need to put in as much match as a state as we possibly can. We've had two affordable housing bonds over the last 10 years that have built just under 2,000 units of affordable housing, so that's gone a long way to helping right, yeah. alleviate the pressure. And we're hoping that the General Assembly will put another 40 million or more bond issue in for this fall. So do, would you say there's been progress? Are you optimistic about the future? Where mm -hmm. would you say the status is right now? Absolutely, there's been progress, right. especially around issues of homelessness. The General Assembly and the governor have been very, very generous and um, supportive of dealing with homeless people. But the answer to homelessness is affordable housing. So we have to go beyond just the very, very lowest income people who are falling into the system and prevent people from coming into the system altogether. So if there's anyone at home watching right now that's saying, wow, he's talking exactly about my situation. Is there any way mm -hmm. they can go, uh, maybe research it online, mm -hmm. a phone number to call? Unfortunately, right now, no. Okay. I mean, they can get information on what is available. But there's very little available for somebody who's really at risk of losing their place mm -hmm. or trying to find a place that's more affordable. Um, they can call the CDCs, but the waiting lists are extremely long. Okay. Well, thanks so much for coming in this morning yeah, with this uh, information. Really appreciate it. And for uh, more information on this, you can always uh, go to our website and see this interview again in its entirety at WPRI.com.